Yes, my name is Gamu. I'm the head barista uh, here at the Puffer Belly Lounge. So we save uh, mostly the people that are boarding the train. Uh, so we are here to help you guys. You must enjoy our coffee. Oh, so about the ticket, you come here and then the ladies, they're gonna save you and they're gonna put a machine to validate your ticket. Um, we're very excited for the trip this morning. Uh, we don't know what we're going to see, but it's just lovely just to travel somewhere else in a different direction. So we're really looking forward to being in Simonstown and to being on the train and enjoying. So I don't know if you'll find me awake because as soon as those wheels turn, I sleep. So, <laughs> but we're going to have a wonderful day today. My name is Justin Wood and I work for a series rail in the maintenance department and today we, myself and Brett Redlock here, we form part of the crew for our initial trip to Simonstown after almost a six year absence. So this locomotive that we're riding on today is a 19D, fairly common class of local in South Africa. This one's number 3322 named Claire after the owner's wife and today uh, we'll be going via Belleville to Simonstown. We are taking a slightly longer route um, due to sections of line that are not yet open, but we aim to get to Simonstown in roughly two and a half, three hours. So my responsibility now as the driver, I sit on this side of the locomotive, I've got my brake here, I've got my throttle, and then I've got my lever to move forward and reverse. But a steam engine always teamwork, so I need pressure to move, and that's where brake comes from. Uh, I'm Simon today. Um, this is an oil burning locomotive. We've converted it from um, coal to burn oil. So instead of shoveling, I've got this control here, the master control valve for the oil. When the driver opens his regulator, I've got to open my oil a little bit. And then when he closes his regulator, I've got to close my oil a little bit. This is the jets which blow, which use the steam to blow the oil out, which can help to burn the fire. And my important gauge is this one here, which is oil pressure gauge, which is operated at the red line. And this is the black. And this is the water level in the boiler. How much water is Obviously, it's, you need both steam and water. The water level is critical in the boiler um, to operate the locomotive.
we are Spa Network Group and we are offering short seated massages all the way to our destination. My name is Michael Francis. I am the Sirius Rail Coach Controller. We are responsible for the safety and information of the Sirius Rail passengers. Uh, no, don't throw anything out the window, Zed. You know that guy. <laughs> I'm Rick Wooder. I'm the general manager of Series Rail Company. Um, it's a company that was started in the mid um, 2010s, actually with the intent to move rail freight, specifically rail friendly freight from road to rail, with the tourism side being a spin off. Um, the company is owned by the Beckett family. We're a South African family that also owns Series Golf Estate. Yeah, we're, we're so glad to be back on this train to Simonstown. It's been all the run. Um, we've been planning this since, since COVID hit. The last train we did was in 2018, and there was only one train done at that stage. And now we're back, six years later. This train holds such a special history for Cape Town. You can see the people alongside the tracks waving. It's absolutely amazing. The last, the train actually started in 2010 under Atlantic Rail and Ian Pretorius. Built up a name with the locomotives being City of Cape Town and Jenny at that stage. And now here we are in 2024 launching the trip again. As we said, this is our inaugural train in our Explorer series with Series Rail. What that means is in future we're going to have more Explorers trains to new destinations. So people who want to do something that's out of the ordinary, um, something that has a little bit of uncertainty. Um, that's what we're here for. So, I mean, I'm, I'm so passionate about these trains. And as you can see, anyone that works here, just, they love it. It's got something that runs in their blood. It evokes nostalgia. And we really love giving people something that they can remember. Um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. The seaside views we've had, it's, it's one of the most beautiful railways in the world. And I don't think you can argue with that. Um, I dare you.
first time on this inaugural trip. I feel very honored. Thankful to my husband who booked the surprise. We're from Cape Town. <laughs> husband, we're from Cape Town, northern suburbs, and it's been absolutely awesome. Seriously impressed, uh, excuse the pun, with um, everything from the organization, the staff, the setup. Yeah, meeting lovely people, all my favorite things. There Cheers. we go. Cheers. Happy birthday, and, Monday. And uh, 51 on Monday. <laughs> It's been an absolutely amazing trip. Definitely we'll do it again. And we'd like to do Darling next as well. So there that'll we be go. cool. You guys enjoying the trip? Oh yeah, All very good? much so. First time? Uh, no, second time. I did this trip about uh, 10 years ago. 10 years? Yeah. Oh. Back then we did like a direct route between Cape Town. So yeah. so, uh, no Melbourne in between. Uh, it's pretty good. It's, yeah, I enjoyed it quite a lot. Good. It's a very scenic route and the train's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is our first time doing the trip. Very relaxing. It was I a can good day out. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good day out. Cool. You guys enjoying the trip? Looks yeah, like it. Yeah, exactly. Very much so. Very much so. Yeah. First time? Uh, no, we did the Sierras one with you guys. Yeah. So that was good. But um, this one's much better because going along the water. Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks for the, all the organization. Oh, beautiful. And you, sir? Lovely. Love it. Love Having it. a great day. The weather's good. Cool. Yeah. Gentlemen? Yeah, we're doing good. And uh, once we get to Elgin and come back again, then it'll be uh, fine. There we go.